And Barbara is strongly looking poised again to win at 20 degrees. I said 22 degrees today. I'm starting to wonder how foolish was I. 20 degrees is my number. And she jumped right on in and this morning. She took it away. And you know something? I think she's going to win with it. Which is really confusing me now. You know, that's just, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> what do you say to that? Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, believe me. Uh, it kind of sometimes makes you feel like throwing things. It really, really does when Barbara... I mean, all week, uh, in fact, for the last month, Barbara has taken it out over me every day. Today I thought, you know, midwinter craziness, I'm going to go a little higher, see what happens. Gave Barbara a first shot. The first thing she said was 20 degrees. <laughs> yeah, good, nice, that's my number. Well, yeah, okay, let's move on. Uh, first of all, let me do this. That's right, you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM. It is 16 after 10 o'clock, 18 degrees downtown, as everybody knows. Wednesday, middle of the week, the 23rd of June. And today I'm really, really excited because good friend of ours, Chris Andreas, he's back in the house. Well, I tell you what, for everybody that's watching us now, welcome along. Believe me, you're going to absolutely love this. Uh, if you're going to watch a little later on over there on YouTube, you know what to do, right? You do. Absolutely you do. Uh, sub, thumb, bell. Bingo. Uh, bell, notifications. You know that. You have when we have important people like Chris Andreas. And believe me, he is an important people. Check this out. Yeah, absolute. He's a winner. He really is a winner. So, we're going to be talking to him. But first of all, must have been about a month now since we've caught up with him. And the last time we caught up, we were throwing knives. You're right here at Galaxy. So we've got a couple of minutes. <laughs> yeah, cool. Yeah, no, hey, on the, on, on the songs that we're doing now, <laughs> like, I, I, I kind of, like on the last record, that last one I did, Bones of Stoners, I tried to make all the songs like really radio friendly, like three minutes tops you know three but on this one i just kind of um i just kind of went well let's just let's just let the song take us where it's got to take us and man like uh, you don't know how much the guys in the band i want to tell you on behalf of the guys in the band they all say thank you very much for spinning these tunes because the guitar player was horrified that nobody would play any of these songs because they weren't going to be three minutes like some of them are five you know believe me my bro i i understand i really really do uh, from a radio perspective, I get it. <laughs> but yeah. from from a DJ's perspective, yeah. play play the yeah. bloody music. It's good music, right? Yeah, that's, it is. That's kind of the way I, I think the format of radio. I mean, if you go to terrestrial radio, I guess, or like uh, you know, it, 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 all these people trying to get on those radio stations, what they don't realize is if you're not signed to a major label and you don't have massive management behind you that's never going to happen so you might as well try and make the best music you can and just hope that it gets out there and people listen to it right oh hell yes bro absolutely and you know throwing knives gets yeah. requests you know yeah. what i mean i've got people yeah. that are emailing us they're ringing us so they want to hear chris andreas believe me you've got a big following here at galaxy yeah. bar bro sure. well that's why it's important that i i don't sell this you know what I mean? I don't, I, you know, I, I, yeah, yeah, I appreciate it, man. It, it, uh, it, uh, it's proving a lot of people wrong, you know. A lot of people were telling me, you know, make sure you keep the songs short. Don't, you know, make make songs that people can dance to. All this stuff people try to, and I go, I don't even think about any of that stuff. I'm just writing songs, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, I don't, I don't worry about any of that stuff, but, um, I, I, but yeah. I must admit, uh, and I've got to welcome along Dwayne Watson as well. He's on board this morning. Uh, I must admit, when Barbara says to me, Grant, the next one's a ballad, I kind of thought, OMG, I'll, I, I better hear it first <laughs> before I make a comment. So I'm in anticipation with that, Chris. I've got to be honest with you. Um, and, and by the way, uh, love to Jimmy as well. Uh, 
Yeah, yeah, Jimmy's doing good. He's doing no, well. He's doing very nice. good. Yeah, no, I, uh, um, and you're going to be, and then, and then the, the, like, the next song I got coming is, like, a total ballad. I don't even know, uh, you know, I don't know what I'm doing. Well, I'm just putting songs up. <laughs> and, and, you know, Chris, I'm, I'm, I'm at, the end, at the end of the day, um, at the end of the day, unfortunately, you see, I, I have to answer to a board as well, if you know what I mean. So uh, yeah. it comes down to whether they allow me to play it. Um, but yeah. I'm really looking forward hey, to hearing John. it. How are you? Well, like, and, and, I, and I know exactly what you're saying because I, I, another friend of mine, uh, Walter, he has a, 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 a radio countdown show. And he literally, um, I sent him the song and I didn't even send him... I didn't even expect him to play it. I, I just know he likes the tune, so I sent it to him so he could have a listen. And he said, he, you know, he goes, I, I, I shouldn't be doing that. I shouldn't be putting the song on here because it's too long, but I got to put the song on. So, you know, so we, I, we, you we, can't, to me, that's, that's everything. Right there. That's ex awesome. Exactly. Yeah. Well, you know, pass love back to the boys in the band uh, and tell them we do Thank play six-minute songs here. Yeah. <laughs> okay? Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. And, I mean, you know, um, and that's you know, you do have a certain amount of power, you know. So it, it's um, um, and I and, and and you use, you know, and so I dig that. You know what I mean? Like that's, you know, I dig that a lot. Very, very cool. James Bolt is in the house. John Pater is watching. Hey, yeah, uh, brother man. Hope you enjoyed your bike ride, actually. And uh, Louis, Louis, nice to have you on board as well. Um, believe me, absolutely fantastic. We're talking to Chris Andreas coming out of British Columbia today. Uh, Dwayne, love, love, love your work as well. Can't wait to catch up with you and talk to you about uh, 60 going on 17 and, and some of the words inside it too. It surprised me. <laughs> when? Oh, Dwayne wrote a song and I'm in it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he wrote a song. He's got me in the middle of the bloody song. And I freaked out when I first heard it. I just, oh, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll get Barbara to send you a copy of it. Believe me, it is hilarious. I Dwayne, loved it. Dwayne, you set the bar high, brother. Yeah, he does. on to make them work everybody tells me this all the time <laughs> ah goodness i for, forever forget these things i really do maybe it's my alzheimer's old time is setting in you never know maybe it's because i have a legend joining us this morning in chris andreas and uh well i want to pass love on to his band as well we've all played six minute songs here we really will uh now chris <laughs> at the same time uh, i want to welcome along uh, <laughs> Careful, because you say that, man. Louis is going to stick it to me and go, okay, they are going to be. Yeah. Oh, and he's there you go. Well, you know Louis what? Uh, I don't mind that. No, we, we're channeling our, we're channeling our uh, Almond Brothers jam on this stuff. So, you know, if the jam's right, we just let it roll. Absolutely. You know? Absolutely. Uh, Craig Devine is in the house as well. Nice to have Craig on board. And, uh, you know, Chris... Uh, we are supposed to be meeting up at some stage. I'm supposed to be coming over there doing a little Sasquatch hunting, a little of this, a little of that. Uh, but right now, uh, the tourism isn't as favourable over here right now. It's understandable. Same with over there. Uh, you must be finding it rather pleasurable to be able to get out on the road and not be hounded by bloody tourists. 
Uh, well, you know, um, yeah, it, it was really kind of weird because I've, I've lived on the island for 30 years and it, it's been about the last, maybe about the last decade, it's a lot of people have been kind of moving over here. And so, um, yeah, I mean, one of the things about when everything was locked down, it was just a, a, a whole lot less traffic on the roads, a whole lot, you know, so it was kind of nice. Yeah. So, but, yeah. you know, we got to get back to, you know, we got to get back to normal, so. That's more important than, than anything else. I, I totally agree, Chris. I really, really do. But, you know, make silver linings while you've got them. You know what I mean? Ah, I enjoyed it. I'll tell you, I will not lie. <laughs> now, uh, i, I got to be honest with you, Chris. I think you've come a long way since the days of Prince George. Oh, you, well, you know, I, in some ways I have, in some ways I haven't. Because, you know, um, I'm still that same dude. It's just, you know, I've got mileage behind me now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you know, believe me, I, I fully agree with you. And I think you've come a long way since we first met as well. Uh, yeah, uh, there's, there's something I've got to ask you, though. If you've been throwing knives, and you are a professional knife thrower, many scars? Ah, I've got a few. <laughs> <laughs> believe me, uh, be when I first heard scars... I absolutely loved it, 100% straight away. Uh, even when I didn't know who, what, when, where or how, uh, I was listening it in, in my car, as you know, no information, just plays the song. I recognised this was a Chris Andrea song immediately. I really, really uh, did. Idea. That's the idea. So tell me, Chris, yeah. tell me all about Scars. Okay, well, like I, you know, we've talked before, and... Uh, and uh, uh, right before the big uh, shutdown happened, uh, the, I had the band and we were rehearsing and we were uh, getting ready to have a very busy season. And uh, and then boom, you know, all that went away. Well, I have a band fully rehearsed. Um, I, I have another friend who has a mobile recording studio, you know, and I'm a songwriter. So I thought, well, instead of just everybody, you know, kind of sitting on their thumbs for however long, we didn't know how long we'd be locked down. Let's make an album. So, so. Um, I was kind of writing the album as we were going, you know, it, it was just like, so, you know, even when I kind of look back now at some of the lyrics, you know, I, I, it was almost like I was just channeling stuff. I wasn't even really thinking about it because I knew I had to keep up with the band because they learned these songs so fast. So, um, but Scars was, I think, the last one I wrote. And um, and that one was really just, you know, we were starting to feel, I, I could feel a, a real shift in energy with people, right? Like, um people were becoming very anxious and I knew that even when we get, I knew we'd get past this and we are getting past it. So I'm very happy about that. But I knew that people would still, they would have, they would have scars from this. We all will have scars from this, uh, from this last year and a half. Some will be big, some will be small, but we're all going to be touched by this. So scars it is. And so I thought that's even a good name for the album just to kind of, uh, you know, sum up this whole year right there. You know, Chris, I absolutely agree with you, and believe me, we've been playing it, uh, just haven't said anything to anybody, and believe me, it's been stirring the pot, literally everybody wanted to know who, what, when, where, and how. So right now, releasing it to the world through Galaxy, here is Chris Andreas and Scars. <laughs> Instantly, I knew this was you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> well, Dan, man, he's just a great keyboard player. So it's just, uh, you know, you got all these. I got all these great guys I'm working with. So I just want to show them all off, you know. Like, so in doing that, you know, yeah, you can't do that in three minutes, man. You need more time. Absolutely, you know? absolutely, bro. And um, you know, I'm, I'm a big fa fan of the sound of this. This is a oh. great sound. You know, it takes me back to the. 60s, 70s, you know, with the, the, the yeah, yeah, yeah the, totally. The, well, the that, you know, that's our engineer, uh, Anthony Sharkey. We call him Tony, Tone Bone Malone. Tony, <laughs> he's the guy that you know, when, when we started working with him, I've worked with him before and I know him and I love him. And uh, when I when we worked for him, I said, you know, we want it to sound like a, an album that you would have picked up in the 70s, like that's what we wanted, like no pro tool or no auto tune on the vocals. You know, just let's let the, uh, we want it. We almost when we tried to record it as much live off the floor as we could, too, Grant. So we really wanted it to have that. So I really appreciate it. that's a, that's exactly what we were aiming for. Well, you know, something that old school sound with the um, with, with the organ, yeah, 
instantly, yeah, you know, that that instantly oh, transports me right you back. to church immediately, man. Yeah, like, hallelujah. <laughs> well, maybe not that much. Maybe the peddlers. <laughs> do, you, do, you remember, no. do you remember the band, the peddlers, back in the day? Ah, uh, no. I, I Believe me, have, have a look. Uh, maybe, um, what, what is it, uh, Black Knight, something like that, you know, with Deep Purple and stuff like that. That kind yeah. of era. You know? Well, John Lord, Deep Purple, um, yeah, um, yeah, well, I'm, and really, that's, you know, yeah, I, I, as soon as Dan touches those keys, man, like, you know, it just elevates everything, and, and it, it, you know, it, the jam is on, so it's, yeah. Absolutely. I mean, he, he was in a reggae band for 10 years. He toured the world in a reggae band. Oh, so, okay, okay, yeah. well, you know, it, it, for me, it's like the, um, uh, the Poko Haram kind of deal, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. That that era feel about it, yeah. and that's exciting. Yeah. I want to bring that feel back again, you know what I mean? Yes. And I, like that stuff. I applaud you, real sir. Instrument. Real <laughs> instrument played by real musicians making real music. There you go, and believe me, bro. How do you not want that in your life? Exactly. You that. Exactly. I have right there, believe me, bro. I applaud you with this. I do, um, even though. Uh, as I said, I'm a little apprehensive on the next one, <laughs> but you know, hey, listen, we've got to give it a fair shot too. Um, I'm, I'm t I think the next one actually comes in at a normal time, and it's a real piano ballad. So okay, all right, uh, but yeah. believe me, I, I was absolutely cock a hoot when I heard this for the first time. Well, uh, yeah, I'm glad to hear that. That's what we want to hear. That's what we wanted. I actually rushed back in my car, back to the studio, and um, made production <laughs> pump it through. <laughs> And we played it straight away on the radio. It was like, yeah, I, I want to be a part nice. of this. I appreciate that. No, much love, man. Much well, love. we do have to play on the radio because we want to make sure that they set, that they sound okay. You know what I mean? So we do, yes. we do test them out. <laughs> we do. So. Uh, well, yeah, you got to, you got to make sure that you know, like, uh, you know, you don't, you know, yeah, quality control, man. Absolutely. Starts way the years. Exactly. So I, yeah, I wouldn't send you anything that I didn't think I, that you might not dig. I wouldn't do that to you. You know, I I, I try to send stuff that I I because I, I I got a pretty good you know bead on you know me and you have talked enough that I know you like the good stuff. So that's what I try to send you. That's the one, bro. Anyway, uh, let's wrap this up, but uh, don't go anywhere, as you know, bro. <laughs> but in the meantime, we will do this. You're right, here we go. We see 107 FM, 27 away from 11 o'clock, and 19 degrees, scaringly close to Barbara's prediction of 20 degrees, where I have been living for the last month. Thought I'd change something new. Barbara slips on in there. I think she's going to win again, which is scary. It really is. Uh, Scars by Chris Andreas here at Galaxy, a brand speaking new song released to the world today. Absolutely fantastic music, it really is. Takes me right on back to the day. Uh, 2021 International Singer Songwriter Association Incorporated finalist. Yeah. Now, tell me a little bit about this before we wrap things up, Chris. Uh, how did this happen? Um, well, that, that's a, that's an organization that a, 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 a lady named Tammany Duff uh, started down in Atlanta. And basically, she was just starting an organization for singer songwriters to connect, um, you know, kind of uh, network, you know, kind of it, it help the independent musicians out. And, uh, and, the, and it just kept growing and getting bigger and bigger. And I think they got I think they got like 40,000 members or something globally. And she decided to start an award show to kind of celebrate you know, people and, and their achievements. And uh, I won an award 
I think two, was it last year or the year before? And I'm up for, I think, six nominations this year, so fingers crossed, yeah. Well, on here it says Male Vocalist Band of the Year, Album of the Year, Single of the Year, Music Video of the Year. You're just Thanks. killing it, my bro. I am so proud of you. Thanks, man. Yeah, we're doing what we can, you know, we're doing what we can. Awesome. Get the word out there. Absolutely, and we're certainly trying to do our part for you as well. Uh, we better wrap this up right now, I've been told. But, yeah, uh, Chris, don't go anywhere just yet. You know what we do no, after no. this. Uh, but everybody that's joined us this morning, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, don't go too far because very, very shortly we're going to be going all the way over to Ontario to catch up with Madison Muir. And you're going to love her. You really, really are. But in the meantime, have a very happy and successful day. If you're going to watch this later on, over there on YouTube, sub, thumb, bell. Bingo. See you later. Bye. Uh, but in the meantime, Chris, hang right in there. For everybody else uh, out there in Radio Land, here's the SOS band. I know you're going to dig this.